So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to secure your bungee cord network. By default, bungee cord network is really really unsafe. If you don't secure your bungee cord server at all, it is very easy to be hacked. And I don't mean like a skilled hacker can hack it, no. Someone who has just a little bit of knowledge about Minecraft servers can easily hack your server. So in today's video, I want to explain to you exactly what the problem is, what makes bungee cord server so unsafe, and how you can actually fix it with just a single easy plugin. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you're subscribed to the channel. Most people who do watch my videos are actually not subscribed, even though it just takes a single click, two clicks, if you also want to enable notifications. And with those two clicks, you would help me out for a lifetime. We're actually trying to hit the 10k subscribers here on the Casasora channel and by clicking that subscribe button you will get me even closer to hitting that amazing milestone. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So before I can actually explain to you why you should secure your bungee cord network and why your bungee cord network is really unsafe, we first have to go over how a bungee cord network actually works. And that's why we're here in Photoshop. So let me explain you some basics. So let's say you have three different Minecraft servers, a minigame server, a hub server and a parkour server. All of those three servers can be run on different PCs, they're completely separate from each other, nothing links them together. Now if you want to make a Minecraft network, then of course you want to link all of these servers together. You want to make sure that people can go from one server to the other without actually leaving your server. So you don't want them to go back to the main menu and join another server. No, you want them to go from one server to the other just in a split second basically. And that's where bungee cord comes in. So in this scenario we're looking at right now, bungee cord is actually server number four. And the only thing that the bungee cord server does is link all of these three servers together. You can't actually play on a bungee cord server. You can only play on the minigame server, the hub server and the parkour server, not on bungee cord. Bungee cord is only there to handle your traffic. So instead of joining your minigame server or your hub server or your parkour server from the server list, you will now join the IP address of the bungee cord proxy. If you join the IP address of the bungee cord proxy, bungee cord will send you to, in this case, the hub server. And from the hub server, you will be able to go to the minigame server and to the parkour server. Now, if we close our bungee cord server or bungee cord proxy, as you can also call it then everybody on all of these servers will be kicked all right those are the basics that's how a bungee cord server works but why is a bungee cord server actually unsafe now like i mentioned before all of these servers have their own ip address maybe all of these servers are on the same pc that's possible but in that case they will all require a different port to actually join them now in the process of actually turning these three servers which are just normal paper slash picket servers into a network you actually disable all of these IP addresses. So you will make sure that from the server list you can join the minigame server or the hub server or the parkour server. You will link all of these servers to the bungee cord proxy and then only give people the IP address of the bungee cord proxy so they can still play on your servers but then just through bungee cord. Now the reason I'm actually making this video is because of the way you disable these IP addresses. You see you don't actually disable them you just make it so that you can only join these IP addresses through a bungee cord proxy. So you can't just join in from the server list anymore, only through a bungee cord proxy. And that is the whole problem. You can only join these through a bungee cord proxy, not your bungee cord proxy. So let's say a friend of yours also has a bungee cord network and they also know one of the IP addresses of one of your backend servers. Then they will actually be able to join that server through their own bungee cord proxy. So if your friend knows the IP address from hub for example, and he also has a bungee cord proxy, then he will actually be able to join the hub server through his own proxy. Now, of course, that's not what you want. But it's more than just annoying. It is actually really dangerous. Of course, hackers can do all sorts of stuff if they can join your backend servers with their own proxy. But what makes it even more dangerous is that all these servers here, minigame, hub and parkour, have online mode on false. So by default, if you make a Minecraft server, online mode is on true. And by having online mode on true, you will actually need a valid Minecraft account to be able to join the server. If you put online mode on false, people who have cracked the game, basically they own an illegal copy 
of Minecraft will be able to join your server. Now for BungieCord to be able to connect to all of the servers in your network, online mode needs to be on false on all of your servers. All of your servers except for BungieCord itself. And BungieCord has it done true. People can still only join if they have a valid Minecraft account. But let's say the BungieCord proxy of your friend actually has online mode on false. That means that they will be able to join your hub server with an illegal copy of Minecraft. So they can just grab whatever you name they want, join your server and completely freak it up. You absolutely don't want correct players to join your network. And by default, without installing a plugin at all, every single BungieCore proxy will be able to connect to your servers and the only thing they will actually need to know is the IP address of one of your servers. But now you might be wondering, Kassasura, how do we fix this? How can I make sure that people can only connect to servers in my network through my own BungieCore server? Well. Let me show you how. You want to download this plugin. It is called BungieGuard. BungieGuard also explains the problem a little bit on their own page, but basically it's telling you exactly the same thing as I just explained. The first sentence basically already says enough, BungieGuard installations are insecure by default. And that is really true. So what you want to do is download this plugin, a link will of course be in the description of this video, and after that you want to install it to both your BungieGuard server, so your BungieGuard proxy, and on all of the servers inside of your network. So literally on every single server that has to do with your network, you want to install BungieGuard on. After installing BungieGuard on all of your servers and restarting all of your servers, you want to go to your actual BungieGuard proxy server. In your BungieGuard proxy server, go to the plugins folder, after that to the BungieGuard folder, and then you will see a file called token. Double click on it and this is what it will say. Of course, the token will be different for you. This is basically kind of a password. Word. So your Bingeger proxy has actually generated a password and it calls it a token and you want to copy this password over to the config file of all of your individual Minecraft servers so that your Bungie Core proxy and all the servers in your network will actually be linked together. So let's copy this. There we go. And then you want to go to the config file of one of your Minecraft servers. So in this case, this is the config of my lobby server. This is one of the servers where the BungieCore proxy will actually connect me to. And over here, you will have to put in the token you just copied. Allowed authorization tokens. So these are allowed tokens. Basically only BungieCore proxies that have BungieCore installed and have this token inside of their config will be able to join this server. So by doing this, you will basically choose just link your BungieCore proxy to your backend servers. And because of that, the only way to join one of your servers is through your own BungieCore proxy. And that's all that's to it. Your BungieCore network is now safe and joinable only through your own proxy. Like it should be by default, if you ask me. But still, it's amazing we have a plugin like this out there. There are other ways to achieve this, but they require lots of firewall knowledge and just install this plugin. It is way easier. And that's it. That's how you fix one of the biggest flaws in BungieCord networks. Now, if you've already been making servers for a while and you've also been running a BungieCord network for a longer time, then my explanation might seem a little long. But for those who are completely new to creating Minecraft networks, I really hope I helped you out. Anyways, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you enjoyed the content, make Make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. It would really, really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then guys, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.